It's a scheme trusted by millions of Aussies. When we fill up our yellow wheelie bins, we assume it will all be recycled. But as you're about to see, that may not always be the case. Well, when you look at this, it appears not. Does that surprise you? No, it horrifies me. Tonight, Garbo's caught in a rubbish act. There are some cowboys in the industry. Leaving residents feeling duped. It certainly is a mess, yeah, yeah. We received a tip-off about a private waste collection company called Urban Waste. It services major events and nearly 500 unit blocks across Melbourne. Our cameras rolling as the garbage trucks arrive at the first stop of the day, Clayton in the southeastern suburbs. Out comes the red rubbish bin emptied into the truck. Seconds later, it's the yellow recycling bin, unbelievably turfed in with the garbage. Could it be a one-off? At the next stop, it happens again. Recycling and rubbish, all destined for the tip. So you recycle frequently? Yeah, no, uh, not frequently, every time. Every time? Mohit Rohit lives in one of the units. And would you expect that yellow bin to be recycled? Yeah. Can I show you a video here? <laughs> oh, outside here. Does that make you angry? Yeah, it's making me very angry. People are very, very enthusiastic about recycling. They say it's the most common environmental uh, behaviour they have. Recycling advocate Jeff Angel from the Boomerang Alliance says it flies in the face of our efforts to do the right thing. Victorian EPA should investigate this as a matter of urgency because unfortunately this type of publicity uh, does lose confidence in recycling uh, on behalf of the community. The company at the centre of it, Urban Waste, refused to answer our questions, other than to claim this only happens when the recycling bins are contaminated by the residents. But you've never seen the recycling bin having garbage in there, have you? No. This company should be collecting the yellow bin separately with a different truck, taking it to a material recycling facility where they can then do the sorting. That's the normal practice. This video was taken in September last year. It shows the same thing happening, recycling and rubbish mixed together. Since then, residents have made numerous complaints to urban waste. Well, I try to be conscientious, but... Yeah. But it's hard when you see things like this. Yeah, I know it is, yeah. I don't know where it ends up. Where do you think it ends up? In landfill. Greedy individuals just grabbing money and not doing what they're supposed to do. The collection company obviously needs to front up and say what the problem is and solve it really quickly. It comes as we're in the grip of a national recycling crisis. Coles and Woolworths recently forced to suspend its in-store recycling program after revelations the company that runs the initiative, Red Cycle, had been stockpiling hundreds of millions of plastic bags over the past five months instead of recycling them. Australia is at a fairly critical point for recycling. We used to send a lot of our mixed recycling, mixed waste, to China and other Asian countries, and uh, they've stopped that. When it comes to this recycling sham, advocates say it begs the question how many others are doing the same thing. I think the community is on board and we just need even better participation by industry and better regulation and controls from government.